What's going on guys? Today we're talking about another episode of Tag Duels Live. That is so loud and it's obnoxious and the game froze. I'm upset. Oh, don't worry. There's other options. You don't have to worry about YGO Pro because there's totally other options that you could do. Is it custom for web pages to take two minutes to load? <laughs> Alright, so it's going to be me and Christian, I think. It might be me and Scary Monsters, because usually I'm on the left side. It is me and Scary Monsters. We're taking on Christian, and whoever Christian is, um, is facing. This is actually not the deck I wanted to run, but seeing that my opponent is playing DDDs, I'm actually kind of glad. This is this continuously gets caught on my leg. It's the most obnoxious thing. So today's episode of Tag Duels Live is sponsored by Imagine Pencils. It's graphite. It's really cool. I'm not sure what Christian's plan is here. He sent two slimes. He's just gonna summon Siegfried and pass. I guess that's not that bad, right? It's pretty bad. This is my Yusenju Kaiju deck that I actually made fairly competitive. I was gonna use a different deck, but I just kind of forgot. So it just didn't happen. Oh no, not Omega. Like, what? It's not even a smart card to make in that situation. He's not even using his effect! <laughs> like, at the very least, you Swirl Slime to summon, but I guess you don't want to give me another card. It's bad, 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 bad. Maybe the one card in his hands of Maxi. Be dope for them, not me. I, that would suck for me. But anyway, so we know I'm facing DDDs. I have you send Juju, Kai Juju, you send you Kai Juju, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is the new one. This is the new Megalith Smasher. So this probably is new dinosaur. Um, I could be wrong though. Okay. It's not normal. It's a strike. It's a pretty good card. Right, that makes sense. He's not big enough to get over Omega though, so it doesn't make that much sense. Right. Good talk. Good talk. This guy, Aria, is the, uh, um, Chris Josh's partner. He plays Shadal Fusion, and because we control a monster that was summoned from the extra deck, they get to send cards from their deck to the graveyard. I hope this is a uh, Grass is Greener deck and not just a 60 card deck because he thinks it's cool. I think no, I get Shadal's and it, it's really smart. It's like, is it though, Aria? Is it though? I'm pretty sure you're weighing this team down, okay? Big decision. Big decision. Ritual Beast Shadal deck. Ritual Beast Shadal deck. Literally, their combination is between the worst Shadal monster from the extra deck. El Shadal Wingo. If you don't know its effect, here it is. Must first be fusion summoned. During either player's turn, you can target one monster you control. This turn, it cannot be destroyed by an opponent's battle with an opponent's special summoned monster. You can only use the effect of El Shadal Wendigo once per turn. If this card is sent from if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal spell or trap card in your hand, add it to your hand. They have ones that negate special summons, they have ones that limit special summons. They have ones that destroy special summon monsters that's so good that it's banned. A B, Ritual Beasts are not the greatest from the graveyard. There's like one monster that summons Ritual Beasts from the graveyard. So if you're running a 60 card milling deck specifically for that one card, that's called stupid. This thing is 200 attack. Literally, if this thing fought Trap Trick Reflasia, it would lose. It's ridiculous. Um, watch this. Watch this be like a strike or something. Like, does something be really live and shuts down these cards? Because if it's not, I could just, I'm just probably going to win soon. Thinking negated. Always gets negated. Always gets negated. Oh, okay. I guess I was wrong. Does not always get negated.
They have some that are unaffected by monsters' effect that were special summon. Like, and you, you what? There's no synergy between wind monsters and Shadal monsters. Even though this card would like you would let you to believe that there is. Is that exactly what I wanted? <laughs> it means I have to make lightning Chidori. I was trying to, I'm running three Twin Twisters and three MSTs and I didn't draw any of them. I just don't get it. Right. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two Jigs Fect on comma two because he's the biggest. I'm going to make two Jig and comma one into Lightning Chidori. And then I'm going to leave comma three out because he's a searcher. And comma two out because he's going to have the most attack. I'm going to make Lightning Chidori spin the back row. And then... Wabaku. Like what? Like what's the actual freak? Like I just don't understand. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Wabaku. Wabaku. Why is he running Wabaku? This is why I hate online Yu-Gi-Oh. Nobody in their, like, right mind would make this deck in real life. Only in online Yu-Gi-Oh would this happen. Should I make... Whatever, I don't even care. DDDs are up next, so that's gonna be fun. I have to deal with that. I do have a strike, so that's actually really strong against DDDs. He has two cards in his hand. Nine cards in his extra deck? The level seven Omega. Did I miss something? Cause I'm pretty sure he should have more than nine cards in the extra deck. What am I facing right now? What is going on? <laughs> I forgot about this effect. He used an Omega's effect in Graveyard to shuffle himself and another card back. This card is so stupid. Like when when was like Konami was just writing this card, like this seems balanced. This seems balanced. I mean, we make cards like uh, D Boys. You've ever read the fact? Read D Boys. I dare you. They make cards like D Boys, and then they make cards like this, and then they make cards like Cypher Lord Omega. What the? Oh my! During each of your standby phases, inflict damage to both players. The damage begins at 200. This is bad in a DD deck. This is a bad in the DDD deck because DDD decks burn you already. You're already playing with low life points. He might just be running this because it's a tag duel and he knows it's going to have more than 8,000 life points. But even. Like, even if this was a good card, which it's not, it's bad in DDD deck. So we have confirmed it is dinosaurs versus bad DDDs and even worse, Shadal Ritual Beasts. I think is what that deck is. What? I'm gonna sit on the field, lose from except dinosaur monsters. Actually, that's this is actually interesting. Um, this isn't as much synergy as the last tag duel I had, because the last tag duel I had was um, Dynamist and Dynamist, but um, I do run a, the dinosaur, as you saw, the dinosaur kaiju, so. What'd you say? Did I miss some? How did that get there? How did you, how did, how did, what? I thought he attacked into this. Right? I must have missed something when I was talking. Once per turn, if a normal monster on the field would be destroyed by a battle worker, you can destroy the same number of, from your hand or Oh, that's what happened. Um, and then this thing. This guy did it out here. Dude, new dinos, man. Low key. New dinos are gonna be really good. And he surrendered! We're gonna actually check out the replay to see what each of these players are running, because I am just absolutely curious. 
Okay, so the Wabaku was set by bad DDDs. This guy's running safe zone. Whoa! Any damage to you from a card effect becomes zero. That makes sense. All right. The dark door, dark contract, one day fake trap. This thing is more than one of. This is a bad DD card. Scrap iron scarecrow. Starlight road. Actually, does he have something that like? He's got an 11 card extra deck. Oh, that's why he's running that one. Because that one, you can gain life points back. He's not, This isn't DDDs. I don't, think, I don't think that's the correct classification. This is like... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. We're going to just, for intents and purposes, check out... This is... This seems pretty legit. This seems Spanish survival line. I don't know um, New Dinos that well. But um, I'm pretty sure a lot of these cards are standard. These a lot of these look fairly standard. Yeah, this looks like a fairly standard build of new dino. This one. So Maxi. So Ritual Beast. Alright, alright. I don't know what's gonna come here. So we have seen Ritual Beast and Shadows, Zephra, right? Lawn mowing figured. Exactly five. When this card is special summon, destroy all spell and trap your opponent controls. Thanks. Like Dark Hole, Gold Sark, Soul Absorption, Fairy Tale, Snow, Regeki. I knew that. I, okay, that's. And then this, this one, Ice Bell, Necroface, Pot of Desires, Jar of Avarice, and another Necroface. So there you have it. It was me running my Senjuju Kaijuju or Senju Kaiju deck with new dinosaurs. Taking on Burn DDDs and Shadal Kaiju's next door. So, um, I believe we became all victorious, and that's why they quit. I'm not really quite sure if there was even a possibility of two very good decks, very well thought out decks, um, losing to two very poorly thought out decks. <laughs> Get the deck, like, what? <laughs> hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, of port most importantly, have a great day. You hit my liquor store, it's 50 cents for single pulse. Success, you wanna roll with me and smoke a 